could it be just random or could there be something else drawing these seemingly unrelated people together at specific times? Dr. Jeffrey Rosenthal is a professor in the Department of Statistics at the University of Toronto. He doesn't believe that these amazing coincidences are really that remarkable. Of course, lots of coincidence stories can be interesting and fun and amusing, and they're fun to retell and so on, but uh, I think some people will think that they go a step further and they must have some sort of a cosmic significance or there must be some hidden force which is forcing these magical things to happen. And I don't look at it that way. I would say, well, let's think about the numbers, and when you do, you realize that even really surprising-sounding things, it's not that unlikely that at some point something like that will happen to someone. So to me, I don't think there's any secret cosmic force involved. I think these things are just going to happen by chance every now and then. Look at this. Royal flush. The odds of getting a royal flush are 1 in 2,598,960 possible hands. That's what makes it appear so special. So what are the odds of experiencing an incredible coincidence? To demonstrate how mathematics can demystify seemingly improbable events, Rosenthal performs a simple experiment. Hi, everyone. We're doing an experiment about randomness and probability. Oh, hi. Excuse me. Would you like to help us with the science experiment that we're doing? Sure. You'd like to help us by telling us their birthdays. Randomly choosing 40 people from the campus of the Randomly University of Toronto, Rosenthal's theory is that at least two people from this group will share the same birthday. Well, you'd think at first there's 365 days in the year, so it's pretty unlikely out of 40 people that some pair will have the same birthday. But actually, there's about an 89% chance that some pair will have the same birthday. And the reason is because there's 780 different pairs of people that you can make out of a group of 40 people. This time, Rosenthal's theory is right. Two of these random people were born on the same day. But does this Sorry. theory apply to the remarkable story of Penny and Kevin? So if you just take a specific pair of people, what's the chance that A saves B's life and then B saves A's life? It's about one chance in 40 billion billion. It's incredibly unlikely. But then once you factor in the fact that there are so many different pairs of people out there who are training CPR, then you end up saying there's something like a one-third chance that at some point during my lifetime there'll be some pair of people living in some local area who will save each other's lives. So can all of these coincidences be explained through a probability formula, or is it really just the law of really big numbers? It seems so cold and heartless.